Look, these uh, tap to pay systems are all over the place now and millions of us are walking around with radio frequency chips in our pockets. Uh, several viewers told me tap enabled systems snatch their credit card information when there was no tap. Where? Well, at a variety of places, a restaurant, a store, a doctor's office. So is this going to keep happening? What else can be grabbed out of my wallet? Edgar Matthews was trying to use his debit card to pay for groceries at Safeway, but that never happened. I hadn't tapped it. I hadn't inserted it. I hadn't swiped it. And then all of a sudden, out comes the receipt. And I said, how did this get paid for? The cashier couldn't explain it. She stood there literally just sort of blank. I really thought that the guy ahead of me, that he had been charged. I said, somebody paid for this on a credit card somewhere. Turns out the tap-to-pay card reader at Safeway had ignored the debit card in Edgar's hand. Instead, it reached into Edgar's back pocket, threw his wallet, and charged his Bank of America credit card tucked inside. That's a pretty big reach. I mean, around me or through me to my wallet. Why didn't it grab the card that was near it? How did it decide what to grab? I was shocked. I was like, well, it can't be. Sonia Cesare says it happened at a doctor's office. I went to pay and they said, you're already paid. And I said, I haven't inserted my card. I haven't even taken it out of my wallet. Turns out the card reader there had sent radio waves into her purse and charged her credit card without her knowing it. And that wasn't all. Three days later at a boutique in Yontville. Sonia got an even bigger surprise at a little shop. The woman said, oh my, it's just read three cards. The store's tap to pay system charged not only one, but three credit cards tucked in a wallet inside her purse. I'd say I was two feet away at that point, for sure. All charges were reversed, but it was troubling. It could inadvertently be happening everywhere, multiple times a day, and it makes you very uncomfortable and frightened. I mean, somebody's literally in your pocket, which is uh, very alarming. So I was swiping through. I was looking for the tip at the end. Ace Vatican was about to pay for lunch at a restaurant. A portable pay terminal charged his card before he could swipe or tap. It is kind of scary in a way that that can happen. Ace saw my story about Destiny M, whose card was charged at Safeway without her knowing it. It's like, oh, wait a minute. This, I think something like this happened to me, too. You know, y'all did a little story on it. I said, oh, my God, that happened to me. <laughs> the industry party line here is this is not supposed to be happening. Ted Rossman of Bankrate.com says, theoretically, this can't happen. You're not supposed to have a card charged by mistake. You're supposed to have to hold it very close to the reader. The industry standard is generally one or two inches. Technology exists to read radio frequencies at long range, but supposedly not on credit cards. No comfort for these folks. This morning when we went to the store, I left my wallet locked up in my car. I am standing back and I'm holding my purse down. So how can you protect yourself? One way is with metallic wallets that block RFID waves. They're for sale widely.